unless you've been living under the rock in a cold disconnected from the internet cave you have heard about ChatGPT. this week OpenAI made headlines again with a bunch of updates to their chatbot and a biggie announcement of GPT's feature so what is this GPT's everybody is buzzing about and can you DIY something like this using open source tools on your computer? Let's find out. Okay, so here's the drill. First of all, we're going to have a look at um, creating GPTs or custom GPT and uh, also at the parts that are in it. Then I'm going to list possible tools to reproduce these functions on your local PC. And then finally, we're going to implement our own copycat custom GPT demo using these open source tools. I decided to make it into two videos because otherwise it would be like that joke about learn C++ in one video if you know which one I'm talking about. So for the first one, we're going to be trying out GPTs and seeing what components are in it. And for the second one, we're gonna go with the open source stack and implementation. Trying out GPTs is actually really simple. You go to chat.openai.com, which is a website of ChatGPT if you didn't know. And then on the sidebar, you'll see the explore button. Click there and it will take you to a list of the GPTs that you created yourself and also the ones that are made by OpenAI. Oh, wow, there is actually a new one here called ChatGPT Classic, which is just a GPT-4 with no additional capabilities. There will be a button called a Create a GPT. I'm aware that not all the users have access to this function and I heard in other YouTube videos that if you click on Settings and Beta here, you might be able to see something related to GPTs, but I am not seeing anything myself. For me, it was just enabled. And uh, I guess it's because I was using OpenAI's products for a long time since GPT-3 was a little baby. All right. So we are going to create a really useful custom GPT. Let's click here and start typing. We're going to create a screen junkie wizard. As you know, sometimes you're just not sure what to watch. And of course, you can scroll on Netflix or track TV, one of those things. But it could be useful if you have someone to discuss things over and see what are interesting movies or TV shows according to your interest and your mood right now. And it might be better than endless scrolling. Plus, we'll be able to use knowledge base feature to add some information uh, after the current ChatGPT dataset cutoff, which is as of now, April 2023. All right, so I am actually doing it together with you in real time and I have no idea how it's gonna work out. So far, I have tried making two custom GPTs, one for fun and the other one is something more serious. There is a conversation window and what's interesting is this is a uh, fixed prompt. So this is not something generated by GPT. It's always the same. So you start typing here. What would you make? And I'm going to type, I want to... So it's actually not super fast because, well, I'm assuming that ChatGPT 3.5 or 4 uh, acting as language model to parse your instructions into a prompt and possibly the hyperparameters and other things. But actually, most of the time, in my experience, it understands you pretty well. Okay, so we have Cine Match. Probably not. Yeah, okay, so Cine Match. I don't know. Let's name it Screen Junkie Wiz. Okay, so while it's generating a picture, you can see that there's a preview, there's a short description, a movie and TV show recommender and recap provider. The prompts are nice, suggest a TV show like Breaking Bad, what's a good comedy for a group, I recommend a movie for a cozy night in. Yeah, and can you recap the last episode? Actually, this, this thing would be really tricky because we would definitely need some latest information. The picture is nice. 
I'll just say no it's good all right we'll say it's broad range okay uh-huh okay like the first prompt these ones are definitely generated by language model and i would like i would like screen junkie with to be friendly and funny so it's interesting actually what it does here it changes the prompt okay that's fun that's what we are doing actually when we're discussing it is there anything specific additional elements yes so for spoilers ask the user if they would like to know them i wonder how that will turn out <laughs> Actually, I don't really like the description, but okay, we'll leave it like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so remember the preferences. Preferences. Boom. Okay, it says finally. This is screen junkie is a friendly fire. Yeah, okay, great. So you can actually try it before and you can try it now. So let's quickly recap all the things that are in that custom GPT which we created just now. For that you go to configure and well obviously there's a name, there's an icon, a description which is a so so description in this case. Now this is the instruction prompt, at least the visible part of it. It's a fairly short one and chat GPT generated it for us based on our dialogue. This is error saving draft. Okay, so there we have the conversation starters, which are actually pretty good. And the capabilities web browsing, down image generation, code interpreter is switched off, which is correct. And also we have the option to add actions, which uh, are custom API calls. All right, as I mentioned, there might be more to this instruction that we are able to see. I wouldn't be surprised about that. And there might be some hyperparameters such as sampling temperature or top K probabilities, things that you generally see in GPT Playground. We are not seeing them, but I would not be surprised if during this dialogue we actually tweaks them too to make sure that, for example, the bot stays more factual or less factual and more creative. Now, uh, also, there was a document upload here which where you can upload the files and i'm assuming they would be parsed and added to the context all right let's uh, ask about the latest episode of stranger things that'd be fun absolutely okay that's a good one that's smart spoilers are okay uh spillers spoilers spillers bananas bananas okay back i actually did not watch stranger things but i mean okay great prompt i probably should have chosen something else okay let's stop please okay so recap latest episode of the foundation i wonder if it's if it's before or after the data set cutoff yeah 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 spoilers are okay i feel it's gonna get annoying Boom. Okay. Galactic Empire. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I feel like this prompt probably... Okay, this is super vague. I don't know. So for, for the Stranger Things, it actually gave me a good recap, but when I ask for foundation, this basically says that the plot is complex and the characters are developing and the struggle of the foundation goes on which is i mean good job okay so we got we have one spot on example although i'm not sure about the fidelity and truthfulness of this one and we have another one where it kind of failed but okay i mean let's press save and for now yeah let's do public why not Enjoy Screen Junk TVs. Here is the placeholder for the next video in the series. You probably are seeing something else now, but I can promise you very soon there will be part two right here.